Hi guys, what's up everybody? Welcome back, back, back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yumi and as always we deal with health tips. So, thank you so much for continuing, subscribing, mnaendelea kuni support. I'm humbled and I'm grateful. Asante ni sana, lakini pia, endeleeni kushare videos na kulikomend kwa your friend. Ili wa subscribe pia. Asante ni sana guys. So, kama kawaida yetu, tunaenda na health tips. Tumeona previous video kama uja watch please. Watch a previous video. It's about umuhimu wa kunywa maji na mda mzuri wa kunywa maji na faida zake. Kwa utapata best time to drink water and it's an important thing. So guys, without further ado, tunaenda kwenye video ya leo ambayo today we'll be talking to watu ambao na madunga ya tumbo. Hey. So, I've done a research, nikaona kwamba kuna faida kinyonge na wagonjwa wa madunga ya tumbo, especially wale ambao inasababishwa na H. pylori, ambao malanyiju wa inakuwa lilip, malanyiju wa inapona. Iyo condition nikaa ni miangalia, most of time, watu unakuta anakaa na madonda ya tumbo yu kwa mdamlefu kwa sababu hafati vile protocol za chakula alichuambiwa nini usile, acha nini, punguza nini. Kwa wengi unakuta hawajui wa punguza nini, wacha nini. So, leo nitakuja na vitu ambavyo hautakiwi kutumia kwa wengi ukiwa na madonda ya tumbo. Stay tuned. Don't need this video. Nitaanza na matunda vinywaji na vyakula ambavyo hautakiwi kutumia ukiwa na madonda ya tumbo. Hii itakusaidia wewe sana ku heal kwa sababu ukiwa unafuata protocol ya vyakula at least unaweka conducive environment kwenye mucus lining ili isiwe inakuwa inashambuliwa sana na acid ambayo ile acid ndio inakuwa inaharibu ule uti kwenye intestine. So guys don't miss this one. Please stay tuned. Mwanzo paka mwisho. Nitaanza na matunda. Haya matunda yanayotaja mara nyingi yanakuwa na gesi sana au na acid. Kwa matunda yenye acid na gesi kwa wingi tumboni yanakuwa yanaenda kuilitet na kuwosen the condition. So guys, tutaanza na matunda ya citrus group. Ambao nikisema citrus group na maanisha matunda yale ya jamii ya mchungwa ambao ni machungwa, malimao, machenza, hayo matunda yana acid sana. Kwa as long as unavyokuwa unayatumia unakuwa una increase excuse me, unakuwa una increase acid production tumboni kwako ambao haitusaidia sana badala yake itakwenda kuwosen the condition. Lakini pia kuna mananasi. Nanasi pia huwa ina worsen the condition sababu na yenyewe pia ina acid na gesi inapelekea kujaza gesi tumboni inaenda kuharibu condition ile ina worsen the condition na pia kitu kingine kuna pilipili pilipili it's not advised kutumia kwa wingi kwa watu ambao wana madonda ya tumbo na kitu kingine ni ndizimbivu ndizimbivu pia huwa inasababisha gesi tumboni ambayo hiyo gesi inavyozidi kuwa nyingi tumboni inakuwa ina worsen the condition Unakuta madonda ndo hivyo yanaendelea tumbo linaendelea kukuuma halipoi halipoi mpaka unywe ile anti acid. Lakini pia tukiachana na matunda guys kuna kitu kingine ambacho ni upande wa vinywaji. Mtu unakuta anafuata dawa vizuri anatumia dawa on time, anakula on time lakini je unafanya nini? Kama unafuata daya tuliopewa, unakula on time, house skip meals, unatumia dawa lakini lakini unatumia most of wanasemaga carbohydrate drinks zile zina gesi unakuta soda ina gesi bado unaongeza tena unaona kabisa anaongeza gesi tumboni itaendelea kukusumbua lakini pia unakuta mtu anatumia alcohol pombe pombe pia sio nzuri kwa mtu ambaye ana madonda ya tumbo itaendelea kukusumbua utatumia dawa utakuwa unakula on time lakini as long as ukinywa pombe unapoendelea kunywa pombe inaenda kuharibu na kuosen the condition vidonda inachelewe shele healing ya vidonda tumboni na kitu kingine ni kahawa. Kahawa na ina wanasema na yenyewe ni mbaya, ina chelewesha uponyaji huo na pia ina gesi inaenda kuilitet the condition. Kitu kingine ambacho haitakiwi ni juice hizo juice hizo ndio hizo nakuta juice ya nini? Juice ya nanasi, juice ya yenye ni juice nyingi hivyo. 
Moreover, apart from that, pia chocolate kwa wingi kwa mtu mwenye madonda ya tumbo inakuwa sio nzuri kwa afya yake. Kwa madonda inakuwa sio nzuri itaendelea kufanya unakuwa unapata kuumia madonda ya tumbo. Na kitu kingine ambacho ni vyakula ambavyo hulusui kula kuna viazi vitamu, kuna kisambu, kuna maharage, kuna dagaa wa kavu. Dagaa wa kavu unakuta wana most patients ukutana nao wanakuwa nakwambia nikitumia dagaa wa kavu hali inakuwa mbaya. Nikitumia maharage makavu hali inakuwa mbaya. Nikitumia kisambu ndo usisemi. Kisambu kisambu sijui kwa mataifa mengine itakuwa inaitwaje lakini kisambu ni majani yale yanatwangwa ya yale majani ya mihogo cassava leaves zile ndo kisambu kwa huko tu Tanzania kwa guys hivyo vitu vinakuwa vinapelekea madonda tumbo linazidi kuuma madonda yana delay to heal so ushauli ni ku take more of vegetables vegetables nying, nyingi zinakuwa zinasaidia kwenye process ya healing lakini pia proteins proteins kama mnavyojua protein inasaidia kwenye wound healing na inasadikika pia inaweza ikasaidia kwenye madonda ya tumbo na kitu kingine ambacho ni list nitakwenda kuwatajia list ah sorry okay nitakwenda kuwatajia list part 2 hii nitakwenda nawatajia list ya vyakula ambavyo vinasaidia kwenye healing ya vidonda vya tumbo Yaani inasaidia it may take a long time to heal lakini inasaidia unapokuwa unapata diet unapata vile ulivyoambiwa kula hiki acha hiki most of madonda tumbo unajua acha hiki acha kutumia hiki acha kula on time kula on time don't skip meals kula yani make sure una tumbo lako linakuwa haipati njaa kwa muda mrefu maana itapelekea ile production ya hydrochloric zile acid itapenda kuharibu utumbo lakini pia vitu ambavyo vinasaidia sana 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 namba moja ambao inapendekeza sana ni cabbage cabbage inasaidia sana kwenye healing ya madonda ya tumbo cabbage cabbage na watu wengine inafikia hatua hiyo wanatengeneza cabbage juice cabbage juice hiyo unakuwa una brand na carrot unakuwa unakunywa inasaidia sana kuna apples apples zinasaidia pia kwenye process ya healing za wound kuna zile jamii ya berries kuna strawberries kuna lactoberries zile what what berries zile blackberries zote zile ni very helpful kwa mtu mwenye madonda ya tumbo lakini pia kuna honey mm, asali asali inasaidia pia kwa unalamba asali inasaidia kwa mtu mwenye madonda ya tumbo ina facilitate ile healing process ya zile wounds na kitu kingine kuna broccoli broccoli Hizo <laughs> broccoli mimi nimeziona ila sijui kuzitumia but kama upo sehemu ambapo zipo available unaweza kutumia pia ni jamii naona jamii ya cabbage kitu kama hiki kama sijakosea so guys kitu kingine ambacho naweza ngawashauri hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo nimetaja vitu ambavyo vinasaidia kwenye healing process na vitu ambavyo vina irritate the condition so without further ado that's all from today that's my video for today yeah that's my video for today ni about highlight about vitu ambavyo vina irritate peptic acid diseases na vitu ambavyo vina facilitate healing kwenye hizo acids thank you for watching my name is yumi and don't miss our next video it will be hot video ina ufata make sure umeput a click a bell on ili ubi uwe notified video ina ufata nitafundisha kwa vitu vizuri no 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 don't miss that one thank you for watching bye don't forget to subscribe eh mpaka nangosea guys please Subscribe, subscribe, to get on your channel. Oh, for to see, oh, for to see, book, book, TV, and more of us. Thank you. Hi guys, what's up everybody? And that's my name. I'm Tupo Sarama. To be your maji, to be your friend Azake. And again, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Come on, I'm Geni. Karibu sana, sana. Feel at home. And come on, you are returning subscribers. Thank you so much. 
So, leo tutakuwa tukiangalia vitu ambavyo mtu ambaye ana madonda ya tumbo au peptic acid disease hatakiwi kula kwa wingi either aache au apunguze au aache kabisa vitu hivi nitakuwa nikitaja vyakula ambavyo vinakuwa vina produce gas tumboni kwa wingi na due to hiyo gas unakuta vina imitate yale madonda yanaanza kuuma mara kwa mara kwa nitakuwa nikitaja vyakula ambavyo haitakiwi ule vinywaji ambavyo haitakiwi kula na matunda ambavyo hautakiwi kula kama una madonda ya tumbo unless otherwise ukila vyakula hivyo au matunda hayo au kinywa vya hivyo unakuwa una imitate ile condition na kama unavyojua peptic acid diseases ambao mara nyingi inasababishwa na H pylori huwa inatibika ila sasa itazingatia na wewe unafuata ile diet ambayo umeambiwa umeshauliwa unakula kwa wakati au skip meals yani uko vizuri na ratiba uliyopewa hmm join me without further ado don't forget to subscribe please guys kama umeangalia video like comment or subscribe please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like a video and so on and share it to your